Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about uh, cysteine lactose and electrolyte deficient agar media. We also call that, in short form, we call that clad agar. In the previous video's lecture, we talked about different culture media, types of the culture media we talked about. And before that, we talked about that what is actually culture media. If you miss this video lecture, so go back to my channel and watch this video. Now, what is Cladegger? So, let's talk about that. First of all, let's talk the introduction of the Cladegger. It was first discovered by a scientist named Sandys and after that another scientist named Mackey and Sandy both combine and modify this media by adding some special types of the ingredient due to which only urinary bacteria can be easily grow. That's why we can say that this is the non-selective media because in this media all the bacteria can easily grow like gram positive and gram negative because we better know that in urinary the gram positive and gram negative bacteria are present Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, uh, Sertia all these are the gram positive and we have E. coli, Klebsiella, Pseudomonas these are the gram negative so we can say it is the non-selective media moreover this media is actually contain the ingredient of the blood agar as well as the ingredient of the McConkey agar that's why we can say that it can support to grow all the urinary pathogens and some other bacteria like we have diphtheria, lactobacilli and micrococcus lutus. Okay. Now, how we can use this media? What are the uses of this media? This media is specially used to detect the lactose fermented and non-lactose fermented colony of the bacteria and if electrolytes is absent so it will you know inhibit the growth of proteus species and all of you better know in this case if the lactose is fermented so we get yellowish colony and if it's the lactose is not fermented so then the colony will be bluish will be talked in upcoming slides now how this media is composed means what are the composition of this media this media contain lactose 10 gram for 1 liter enzymatic digest of gelatin and enzymatic digest of casein 4 gram for 1 liter beef extract 3 gram for 1 liter lysine 0.12 gram for 1 liter bromomethyl 0.026 gram for 1 liter agar 15 gram and obviously we have distilled water 1 liter so let's talk the function of each ingredients means the principle of this media as this media contain what this media contain beef extract uh, enzymatic digest of casein and gelatin so the presence of this ingredient will provide nitrogen vitamins minerals and amino acid and we better know that it is specially used for the bacterial growth and division because it provide energy then we have lactose now lactose is acting as a carbohydrate means it provide energy to the bacteria and when the bacteria is utilize the lactose or ferment the lactose so it change the ph means it can lower the ph once the ph value is lower so then we have a bromo uh, brom uh, brom thymol blue indicator so the color of this change from blue to yellow then we have l lysine the presence of this L lysine ingredient will support the growth of cysteine dependent drug coliform colony like Klebsiella, E. coli, Pseudomonas, etc. We have agar, and all of you better know that it is acting as a solidifying agent, means it can provide a stable surface through which the bacteria can grow in the form of colony. And we also use distal water that mix all the ingredient how we can prepare this media so let's talk about that so again in this case if we have the ingredient 
so we will mix the ingredient in one liter let's suppose we have the bottle so weight 36 gram and suspend it into one liter distal water then heat mix it using hot plate and then boil it for almost one minute at a temperature of 50 to 60 degrees celsius after the heat mixing then autoclave it at 121 degrees celsius for 15 minutes using autoclave machine after the autoclaving then pour this media before pouring you know cool down this media at 50 degrees celsius mix it well then pour it into sterilized petri plate after that once the media gets solidified so then streak your bacteria or streak the urine sample on this media and incubate it at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hour in incubator machine after 24 hour examine the colony morphology so this is how we can use and prepare this media now what type of the bacteria can easily grow on this media and how the bacteria will be look like on this media so this media you know provide the growth of every type of the bacteria except fastidious bacteria okay now e coli pseudomonas both are the gram negative bacteria enterobacter salmonella klebsiella all these are the gram negative but some of them are the positive bacteria like sertia streptococcus staphylococcus aureus now if we talked about the e coli so it will produce opaque yellow colonies with slightly deeper yellow center means it is lactose fermented bacteria let me show the colony of lactose so as you can see this yellowish colony are what these yellowish colony are the e coli then we have pseudomonas which can produce green colonies with typical matted surface and rough peripheral means it is non lactose fermented bacteria so these are what this fourth picture uh, this is the lactose uh, non lactose fermented colonies means pseudomonas aeruginosa then we have enterobacter which can produce uh, yellow to whitish blue colonies mean it is lactose fermented bacteria and it is a little bit sp smaller colony as compared to e coli so let me show the enterobacter now the, this third picture can showing the enterobacter colony then we have salmonella which have flat blue colonies so this first picture and in this first picture you will see the blue colonies which is almost similar to the E. coli but this have blue colony and this means that it is non lactose fermented bacteria Klebsiella again it can show mucoid colonies from yellow to whitish blue it is also lactose fermented so you can see these are the Klebsiella colony Proteus will produce bluish colonies which is actually smaller than E. coli so as you can see these are the growth of proteus bacteria normally the proteus bacteria cannot grow in it but if still we want to see the proteus bacteria so it is non lactose and their colony is very small colony okay so although it cannot grow but still if you want to see so it will be look like in this one staph aureus will produce golden yellow colonies means lactose fermented so this sixth picture showing the lactose fermented bacteria and this is the staphylococcus aureus colony then we have chromium bacterium which is very small gray colonies and it is also the non lactose fermented bacteria so as you can see this first picture is the growth of e uh, chromium bacterium diphtheria and it is very small colony as you can see and it is also showing the non lactose fermented bacteria then we have lactobacilli a bumunai uh, means lactobacilli and uh, showing a similar colony to chromium bacterium but it is but you know it, their colony is rougher as compared to chromium bacteria and it is also non lactose fermented bacteria then we have a bumunai which can which have dark blue colonies means it is also non lactose fermented bacteria let me show this is the a bumunai bacteria colonies as you can see then we have streptococcus which have small opaque pale yellow colonies 
means lactose fermented bacteria okay and finally we have sertia which can showing red to dark pink colonies means it is slow lactose fermented bacteria so as you can see these are what these are the growth of uh, sertia marcinius and it is slow lactose fermented although there is no zone of lactose creating now m one thing more that i want to tell you there are some bacteria which we are also called it, it is Euro europathogens but these bacteria are the fastidious means it needs some special types of the nutrient for their growth which is not provided by the cladagar so nigeria gonorrhea glandria vegania chlamydia europlasma these bacteria are fastidious and it cannot grow on this media okay so that's all about the clad agar i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching